withdrawing your Bitcoin from Mirror Trading International. The objective of Mirror Trading International is to sustainably grow your Bitcoin. The only way your Bitcoin will grow is when it is in trade. Every week trading starts on Monday at 1 minute past midnight and ends on a Friday at 1 minute before midnight. These times stated are in Greenwich Mean Time plus 2. The statement run takes place at the end of every trading day and all withdrawal requests are submitted to the broker just after the statement run is complete. These withdrawal requests are then finalized and you'll receive your Bitcoin 12 to 48 hours later. Please note that as soon as you confirm your withdrawal request, your requested Bitcoin amount goes on hold and you won't get the trading profits for the day on that amount. In case you are wondering about the length of time taken to process your request, it is also for security reasons. It is highly recommended to have the two-factor authentication in place on your account. MTI and the broker have strict measures in place to ensure the safety of members' Bitcoin. However, MTI cannot take responsibility for inadequate security on the member's end. Ensure that your email is only accessible by yourself and that your email and MTI password is not the same. What happens if you request a withdrawal on the weekend? No trading takes place on the weekend, therefore the brokers are not at work and your Bitcoin is safely resting in the trading account. The withdrawal window closes on Friday at 10 p.m. and reopens at noon on Sunday. Again, time stated are Greenwich Mean Time plus 2. This gives time for the withdrawal request to be consolidated and requests made on a Sunday after midday will be processed and paid 12 to 48 hours later. A good strategy might be to make a withdrawal on a Sunday so that your Bitcoin has had a full week's opportunity to grow. However, should you wish to do so, you can make a withdrawal at any time outside of the closure times. Talking of withdrawals, let's look at the process of withdrawing your Bitcoin from the pool account. In your back office, you will have a trading pool balance. Remember that if you have qualified for the weekly binary bonus, that you will need to keep at least $200 in Bitcoin value in your trading pool to continue getting binary bonuses weekly. Before withdrawing, you will need to go to the wallet section in the menu. Then click on Internal Fund Transfer. The Internal Fund Transfer screen will appear. You will need to choose the type of transfer you are wanting to do. In this case, you will choose the Pool to Income Wallet option. Fill in the amount in Bitcoin you wish to withdraw and enter your account password. This is the same as your login password and click Submit. A new screen will appear and you may confirm the transfer. A screen will appear confirming that the transfer was successful. Confirm in your back office that your income wallet has the balance you want to withdraw. Click Wallet Withdrawal in the Wallet section on the left hand menu. When you get the new screen, click New Request, click here. The request form will show the various balances you have, including the amount in the income wallet you wish to withdraw. Enter the Bitcoin amount you want to withdraw and carefully copy and paste your Bitcoin address. Remember, Bitcoin addresses are case sensitive, so it is better to copy and paste so that you do not make a mistake. And Bitcoin payments are irreversible. Once this is done, click Submit. A new screen will appear asking you to check your email to confirm your withdrawal request. Please check your inbox, junk mail or spam folders. Click on Initiate Withdrawal Process in your email. You'll be taken back to your back office where you'll need to enter your password again. Make sure that you enter your password correctly the first time, otherwise you will have to start the whole withdrawal process again. You will get a notification saying Withdrawal Request Sent. If you click on Wallet Withdrawal again, you'll be able to see your withdrawal request and its current status. Now you just have to wait for the request to be processed and completed. Should you have any further questions, please contact your team leader.